What's the second string? A. Good. What's the next word? Elephants always do. Good. What letters does that start with? D. D. Good. So what string do you think this is? Good. And then what was the last word? Elephants always do. Good. Good. And what letter is that? Good. G, all right? Oh. So this is the G string, all right? Can you remember all the strings? It's okay if you don't remember the phrase, but we need to remember all the strings. The phrase is just to help you remember. Have words well, it's okay. I'll remind you, and then you'll just start to remember. It's only four letters, right? Only four strings. So what was the first string? Do you remember? Okay. E. e. What's the second string? And then? Elephants always do. So how do you, what's the first letter in the word do? D. E. D, yeah. So E, A, D, and what's the last one? G. G, good. One more time. What, what's this one? Oh, not A. What's the first one? Oh, E. E. Ma, and stay still. <laughs> A. Good. And then the last one? G. One more time. Right? That's how we know it's the first one, because it's um, so skinny. Wait, the They're a little bit bigger, right? So each one gets a little bit bigger. So the skinniest one is the first one. So that's E, okay? There's one rule I forgot to tell you. All right, one rule I forgot to tell you. We don't touch our strings here between the fingerboard and the bridge. We don't put our fingers here, okay? We don't touch this part because... Yeah, we put our fingers up here. But there's a reason we don't touch this part. It's because our fingers are dirty, okay? Even if you don't think your fingers are dirty, they're dirty. They're, we have oil and other stuff on our hands. And later when we learn how to use the bow, the, the stick thing, you know, the other part, yeah, it's in there, yep. That part goes on here. And if we get this part dirty, the bow is gonna get dirty, the hair on the bow is gonna get dirty, and then it won't make a sound, okay? So we don't touch this part of our instrument. Yeah, it'll just slide across, but you won't be able to hear anything, all right? <laughs> exactly. All right, but now we're going to learn how to hold it, all right? So when we play violin, we actually stand up. Now, I'm not going to stand because I'm way taller than you, and if I stand, I won't be able to see what you're doing. But you need to stand, all right? So, <laughs> so okay. Do you know which hand is your left hand? Which hand is your left hand? Show me your left hand. That's actually your right hand. It's your other one, your left hand. This one, okay? All right, put, put both hands down. Which one's your left hand? Good, raise your left hand for me. Raise up your left hand. Good, all right. That's the side that your violin goes on, okay? Yep, okay, so I'm gonna show you how you're gonna put it, uh, put it on your um, shoulder. So you're gonna grab it by this part. Okay, you're going to turn it over, okay, hold on, yep, see you're natural at this, but let me show you step by step, okay, so you see this thing here, this little dot, it's going to go against the side of your neck, okay, yep, and then you're going to rest, kind of like you're laying on a pillow, exactly, good, now, not all the way down, now lift your chin a little bit, keep your chin straight, keep your face looking at me, up, oh, now you've turned your chin, good, and because you're not put, this is too big and you're not going to put your fingers down anyway, we're going to keep our hand here for right now, okay? Eventually, we'll put our fingers up there, okay? So, now with your right hand, this one, can you put your thumb here? Your thumb, good, on the corner. All right, now I see you have a Band-Aid. Is, is this finger okay? 
can take it off. Is it okay? You don't have a cut or anything, right? No. No? Okay. So, um, it's okay if the band-aid's on. But, here, let's turn this way. So your dad can see what you're doing. You want to take your, your band-aid off? Because it's just on the top of the nail. It's not on the... Oh, okay. Okay. You all right? All right, so, you're going to put your thumb here. And I want you to pull on the string like this. Ooh. <laughs> it looks like we're about to break it. You're not gonna break it, trust me. See, you can pluck it. You can pluck it pretty loud, and it won't break. But let's see you do it. So keep your thumb on the corner and then pull. Can you make it even louder? Don't take your thumb off. Just keep your thumb there. Good. And remember, you don't touch this part, right? So when your thumb is here, you pluck up here over the finger bone. Okay. Okay, let's, can you do it one more time? Oh, where did your thumb go? Oh, do we touch that part? We don't touch that part, right? Good. Can you pull louder? Good. Can you, what string was this again? Um, this, uh, Good. Can you pluck the E string four times like this? One, two, three, four. Stand up, Melania. Stand up. Yeah, I know. It gets tiring. You'll get used to it. Um, okay, remember it goes on your shoulder. There's one more piece of equipment that you, you need. It's called a shoulder rest, and it goes on the bottom. Okay. Um, and that's separate, so you would have to purchase that separately. Okay. But those are adjustable, and if she gets a half-size violin, oh, it, usually they have one that's like half-size and up or something okay. like that. So you She'll know, be able to use that. For a while, yeah. She, Maybe even for, I don't know if it goes all the way to full size, but she can at least use it for half size and three quarter. Okay. Um, okay, touch your chin. All right. That's a three quarter, right? Is this, that a this full? This one's a full size. Yeah. Oh, it is a full size. Yeah, this one's a full size. So she probably, need, yeah, she needs a half size. Okay. Let's pluck the A string. Where's the A string? Good. Can you pluck it four times? Two, three, four. Good. Now can you pluck the D string four times? Do we touch that part? Where do we pluck? Yeah. Where do we put our thumbs when we're plucking? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Good. Now the G string. Uh, ah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Two, three, four. Good. Okay. Take a little break. Are you tired yet? Is your arm a little tired from holding it up? Yeah. So the shoulder rest will help you hold up your instrument. I don't even know if I can do it. But you should be able to hold your instrument without your hands. See, but it's really hard when you don't have a shoulder rest because this is slippery and your shirt's a little slippery, so it'll feel like it's sliding down. So when you once you have a shoulder rest, you'll be able to do this. All right? And I've been playing for many, many years, so <laughs> that's why I'm able to do it. All right, so if you, hold, if you take the violin by yourself, do you know how to put it up on your shoulder? What shoulder does it go on? The right or the left? Mm -hmm. Which one is that? Do you remember? Uh, left. left shoulder. Good. So grab it by this part, the curvy part. Hold it out in front of you. Yep. And now flip it over and put it under your chin. Oh, the other way. Okay. Mania. This way. Okay. Yeah. Good. Can you do it again? Can you take it down and do it again? So where does this hand go? Where do you hold it if you're about to put it up? I want you to hold it on the curved part. Yep. Good. Except it has to be on your shoulder. Good. Let's do it one more time. Take it down again. It's slippery. Yeah, good. All right. So for now, just keep your hand here all the time. Okay, because you can't reach that part, right? Okay. Let's do. Can you do for me? Can you pluck the E string four times? Up. Oh, where do you put your hand when you're plucking? Where do you put this hand when you're plucking? Don't take your hand off. Freeze. Freeze. Uh uh. Keep your hand there. Don't move. Okay. Now pluck. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. 
Okay, now plug the D string four times. D. What's the D string? Which one's the D string? Oh, the second one. But where did we touch that part of our instrument? Uh, we don't touch this part, right? Uh, it's okay. Uh, three. Good. But you need to keep your thumb on. Do you want more time? take a break. So it is tiring, right? Your arms are getting tired. Both arms, right? Because you have to hold this one up too. We're going to try that one more time, okay? But you're doing a pretty good job of remembering where all the strings are. It's okay. We'll fix them after. Oh, I have some more showing. Every time I put my dress on, I'm going wrong. Okay. That's all right. We're, we're almost done, don't worry. Here, take the violin. Can you put it up by yourself? Um, Where it is? Oh, yeah. Um, but which way does it have to face before you put it up? Okay. Yeah? Good. Okay. Yeah, and then? <laughs> which is I twist So where does it go? Oh, yeah. Where does it have to go? Oh, yeah. Does it go right under your chin? Oh, so which hand should you be holding it up with? one right okay so let me show you one time so I'm gonna put my left hand here okay I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of put it out like I'm gonna show it to you okay and then I bend my elbow and it comes in like that okay see how it comes right on top of my shoulder and then I put my chin down okay mm -hmm. Go ahead. so like you're showing it to me show it to me first so I want you to show it to me good and then bend your elbow and bring it towards you. So you gotta bend your elbow, you gotta bend your elbow. Put it on your shoulder and then, look, can you see it? Put it on your shoulder before you put your chin down. Look, watch what I'm doing. Okay, you see, I didn't put my chin down yet. All right, it's resting on my shoulder. And then I put my chin down, okay? All right, put on your shoulder. Now put your chin on it. There we go. See, now it's perfect. Good. All right, so can you show me where your thumb goes when you're going to pluck? Oh, no, oh, keep your hand here. Keep your hand here. Good. Yep. Good. Breeze, I want you to pluck the D string four times. What? One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, Breeze, don't move, don't move. Keep your hand there. Um, E string four times. E. Where's the E string? Uh huh. Two, three, four. Good. G string. Good. Good. Now the. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> A string. Good. Now, what do you notice about the violin? right now. Is the scroll, this part, is it facing down or up or is it in the middle? Is it pointing towards the sky, the ground, or is it kind of flat? It's flat, right? That's good. The violin always needs to be flat. I know. One more, just hold on. We're building those muscles even now, okay? No. I know, I know. You'll, see, you'll get it, you'll get it. All right, so I need you, I need you to listen for a second. I know it's tiring. I need you to listen, okay? You see the violin is flat right now? Mm -hmm. That's very good, okay? We don't want it to point to the sky, and we don't want it to point to the ground, well, okay? Help well, it just makes it sound better if you hold it flat like that. Is your elbow touching your side here? No, right? Yeah, so your elbow should never be touching your side like this, because look what happens. This, it points down, right? So you need to have your elbow a little bit up. And this elbow a little bit up too. Okay, now you can take a break. Oh. We only played for a few minutes and you're tired already? It's okay. Maybe I can try to play some songs, but like, nope. Yeah, well, 
Once we um, get a violin that's the right size, I'll show you the notes up here, okay? And then we'll play some songs right away, all right? But now you know four notes. What four notes do you know? Um, the E and the A and the uh, E and D. Oh, oh, just D. skip one. D and then G. G. Good. All right. Okay. So we're not going to really do anything with the bow today. Actually, we'll, we'll talk, I'll show you what the bow is, but we're not going to do anything with it today. The bow is something very tough to learn. Hold on. The Velcro. Did you play with the bow when you were playing before? When you played with it before? Okay. okay Just tell me... Uh, to unloosen it, I guess, not to keep it. Yeah. Okay, so there's a, this is actually really important. Okay, <clears throat> so even if you keep this violin, this bow, you probably need a new bow. This violin's okay, but the bow is not good. Okay. Um, you can get a bow, it's not that expensive. You can get a bow, and whenever you go rent one, when you rent a violin, you can ask them about the bow. Okay. Um, but this bow is not good because you see how loose the hairs are. Yep. When you when you're not playing, you should have loose hairs. We should always loosen the bow. We don't want to keep it tight all the time. But this one is too loose. See when I tighten it, you see how much um, space there is here. On a good bow, on a bow that's correct, there should only be a little bit of room. That's your violin case? This is actually my viola case. Because I play viola also. But it's the same thing. So, you see on a bow, when I'm not playing, you see the hairs are loose, but they're not as loose as that, right? And then when I tighten, this is as tight as it should it get. It goes up. Yep, exactly. When I tighten, this is as tight as it should get, and it's only <laughs> it's only enough room for your pinky, right? That's as tight as you ever need it, okay? Um, so that's why the bow is no good. But, you yes, I have many bows in here. <laughs> but let's just talk a little bit about the parts of the bow. There are only three parts. We'll, we'll use this bow. Alright, actually there are more than three. There's four parts. There's the stick. Okay, that's easy to remember, right? Because it looks like a stick, right? Like from uh, like something you would find on the tree. ground, right? Yeah, from a tree. And it's made out of wood, so it's the same thing. Okay, so that's the stick. One time I was with my mom in our new house, and then I was trying my crate, and then I tripped on a stick. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's all better now, right? <laughs> okay. Now, um, this is a stick. This part here, this block, it's actually called the frog. Okay, <laughs> just like a like a green frog that ribbit ribbit that jumps around. That's what it's called. Okay. So this is called the frog. Okay. I know it's weird. I don't really know why either. It doesn't look like a frog. It's not green, so I don't know. <laughs> but this part is called the tip. Okay. Like. Yeah, just like the top of anything else, it's called the tip. Like okay? a horn. The top of something, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It kind of looks like that, right? Because it's kind of pointy at the top. So what was this part called? Uh, the stick. The stick, good. What is this part? The frog. The frog, good. <laughs> and this part is? The, it kind of makes a point, so it's called the... What's another word for the top of something? <laughs> the tip. Uh, yeah. yeah? Okay, the tip. So let's do that again. What, what is this? The stick. Good. And this is the? Sure. Good. And this is the? Tip. Good. We have one more part. This part. Okay? 
This is called a hair. This is a, this is actual hair. This is not human hair, but it's actually horse hair. I right? knew it could make that. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's real horse hair. They take hair from horses. Um, like they cut it off. Yeah, they cut it off. They cut it off from the tail, I think. Um, but I this is. Have more hair on the tail if oh. you waste the whole thing. It's okay. It grows back. If you, if I cut your hair, it grows back, right? So it's the same thing for a horse. Now. One more rule about the violin and the bow, we don't touch the hair, right? Just like we don't touch this part, because, because the hair goes on this part, so we don't touch the hair, and we don't touch that part of the violin, right? Because we don't want it to get dirty, we don't it want the oils. It almost looks like you were touching it with your Right, right, so I, I'm not gonna touch it. I might every once in a while touch it, because sometimes the hairs break, and I'll, if they break, I, I can pull them off but I don't want you to touch it, okay? Until after you've learned for a little while, all right? Okay, so those are the parts of the bow, and the bow is very hard to learn how to hold what and everything. This part? this part, this is the grip. We don't always talk about this part, but your fingers rest on it, so. But when we learn how to- the hair puts it to here, it's resting, and when you put it to here, it's resting. Exactly. But so. Mm -hmm. So when we learn how to hold the bow, we'll talk more about this part, okay? <laughs> All right, so I threw a lot of words at you today. Do you remember what this thing is called over here? Um, the bow. Oh, the bridge. Good. Do you remember what that black part is? Mm -hmm. Good. And what? what's this? What do you put on it? Chin. Uh huh. So it's called the chin. What do you do with the chin? Mm -hmm. You rest your chin on it, so it's called the chin rest. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. You'll remember it. We'll review it some more. Okay. Um. All right. Do you have any questions? Oh, I have one more question for you. Which side do you hold the violin on? The right side or the left side? The left side. You might forget which one's which, but just remember it's this side, right? The left side, okay? All right, do you have any questions for me? Um, hmm? Yes. yes? <laughs> Even if she is more dominant left, because she's a lefty? Yes, okay. everyone plays on the left side. Okay. Yeah. He didn't tell me that my teacher was a girl. Ah, uh, okay. Well, now you know. <laughs> All right.